Please tell us your name. His Holiness the Dalai Lama asked us to record your experiences so that we can share your memories with many generations of Tibetans, the Chinese, and the rest of the world. Your memories will help us to document the true history, culture, and beliefs of the Tibetan people. <coughs> Do you give your permission for the Tibetoral History Project to use this interview? And during this interview, if you wish to take a break or stop at any time, please let me know. If you do not wish to answer a question or talk about something, let me know. If this interview was shown in Tibet or China, would this be a problem for you? No. So, um, uh, we are honored to record your story and appreciate your participation in this project. Gela, can you please tell us how old you are now and where you were born? Gela, can you please tell us how old you are now and where you were born? I'm 74 years old. Then, um, before Tibet was captured, it um, the region where I was born was called Baba. But now, after the capture of Tibet, the Chinese have uh, clubbed it in the region of Markham. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, included it in the region of Markham. Okay. Included. included. Uh -huh. I see. And um, what kind of work did your family do for a livelihood, Gela? Gela, ki nami chogi nge ma chale kari nangi yore pula. No mungi eh. No. Mazu no mungi. Le ka shin kata gare. Shin kata. So my family was engaged in farming. In those days, there were no uh, industries. Hmm. And how many uh, how many people were in your family? Uh, Um, there were eight members in the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell us, do you have any memories when you think of your childhood? Are there any special memories you ha you can see in your mind? Um, I remember the days when we used to play and then when I first became a monk. Ah, I see. And uh when you were growing up, was there enough food to eat in your family? Was there enough uh, uh, warm warmth and clothing, shelter and clothing in your fa farm? 
We had enough to eat from our uh, farms and uh, we did not have to buy them from anywhere. Mm. Mm. So the only things that we had to buy were salt and tea. Uh-huh. And besides that, you know, we had everything like butter, meat, sampa. Uh-huh. So you said you have some memories when you were a child of the games you played. What, what were some of the, the childhood things that you remember? I mean, um, I remember we used to uh, go swimming and then we also uh, um, uh, some sort of uh, swing. Oh, and swing. And uh, where were you in that, in that family uh, of brothers and sisters? Older or younger or middle? So I was in the middle. I had three older siblings and two younger ones. Mm. Mm-hmm. Was that a, a, a good place to be, a middle child, compared to the oldest or the youngest? There was not much difference because when you were able to, then you, uh, you know, uh, graze the animals. Ah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and in your family, at what age did you begin to graze the animals? Mm-hmm. So uh, when I was about like 10, 11 or 12, that was when I went mm-hmm. to ジュース、with so we were quite a poor family oh. and in our region all the houses were three storied uh, we kept the animals on the ground floor the family stayed on the middle floor and our harvests were stored in the upper floor mm-hmm. You said you were a poor family, but you also said that you were quite self-sufficient as a family. You had all the food you needed and clothing, and you only had to buy tea so, salt. Uh, and, and salt. So what made you a poor family? Mm-hmm. 
you know, there were times, you know, after the sowing and before the uh, harvest, uh, uh, you might not have enough. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't have enough, would that mean there was no food or just a, a less food? Anita, a cup. so then we had to take loans from monasteries or uh, uh, more richer families. Mm. Can you tell us, Gela, a little bit about that process, how you take loans and how you pay them back? What, what's that process? Sesat um, so uh, we had to pay some interest and uh, for every um, um, bowl of grain, a bowl meant uh, 20 day. So every 20 day we had to pay an interest of 6 day per year. Mm -hmm. 20 is to 6. Uh-huh. Uh, you had to pay 20 for every bowl uh, and that was 6. Uh, for every day, okay. for every 20 day of grain, okay. you paid six day in interest. Mm -hmm. And did that seem uh, like a reasonable rate or did that seem too much? Interest was a fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but I don't understand what is a day for every 20 days. Is that money or is that bushels of grain? What is that? It was grains. Because if you received in grains, you had to pay back in grains. Ah, okay. So if you received in grains, did when did you pay back the grains? So the loan was repaid after the crops were uh, harvested. Hmm. And if there was, um, did you did you go to the monastery or did somebody come to you to pay that debt? Any ah, that pulling lenga you may ask your wala. The Susu Pa Gomba the Pula Dora, Kunzu Tu Duga Yungre. That Susu Yasian Kelly Yore, Tu Lenghun Kelly Yore. Nothing else to your. Yeah, there were some people who went to repay the debt to the monastery while at times the people from the monastery came and collected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, Gela, was the land that you were working on, did that belong to you or the monastery? Uh, the land belonged to us. Mm -hmm. And what would happen if you had a problem and some year the harvest was poor and you couldn't repay it?
So in such a case, you know, the interest of the previous year was uh, included into the principal sum, mm -hmm. and then on that you had to pay interest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Compound interest. Yes. Um, and uh, and if if someone if some illness happened or you know people got sick in the family or father had a problem an accident and you could not pay back that loan to the monastery what would be the consequences? Any case, me tan chigla ya da dukku da wo mangbo chungwa ya na roa chig na cha da wo dan chigla ga chi ma thonge dem de cha cha any kya ga ga di pulen di gyu lungbo chig je ma thu bachi na gomba le ya. Anda kar je la kar chig le. Je ya 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 zhe hong ni mo le pe lu mo mu chan de ta. Ya zhe hong de ba. Xie 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 ya zhe hong de. Xie de ma gong de liu de li ge xie de ma gong de hong de ba. Zhe ni xie xie zhe hong de ba. An ta ma kar chig le la. Then your loans kept increasing year by year if you couldn't pay back. And then finally, you know what happened? The Chinese came and they wrote off everything. Ah, was that, uh, were you, let's see. When the Chinese came, you were not. Were you with your family? ตัวเนี่ยเราไม่เอาไปเดี๋ยวเช่นเสียชีวิตเลยเที่ยวสิ่งเดียวเลยโบกิสกิสโอ้พอได้โบจ่าเกี่ยวกันนะเรื่องเ
It was my parents. Mm -hmm. Then tell us uh, about your memory of that. What was it like to go to the monastery for the first time to become a monk? Did you get robes in that ceremony or was there some kind of initiation? But <laughs> Chabaya So on that day, you know, um, all all the head was shaved except for a tuft of hair right at the center. Mm -hmm. And then at the monastery, a lama would come and with a pair of scissors, he cut off that hair. And then uh, the monk was given a new name. Mm -hmm. And is that the name that you keep the rest of your life as a monk? ね、ディニマデラミンサワシティロ。ラレ。エンミンディタアミジガンザンタミンディチャロ。ラレ。ラレ。ラレ。ラレ。ラレ。ラレ。ラレ。ラレ。ラレ。ラレ。ラレ。
the vowel. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, and then what was the getsu vowel? And the getsu tamba singi di kandu jire. That getsu tamba singi di kandu jire. And then Londo Suju 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 あね、あ、たんばすんじゅそうじゅじゅやろわ。もうでで。おお。そうじゅそうじゅなんねんだ。ちきにじかるれげな。だ、そうじゅちゅもで。まじんばれちょうごま。こまくちょうごま。So they were like uh I will not take lives, I will not steal. うん。めせちょうごま。そうじゅでめせやで。So, you can see the teacher. And then, the chamber is so true. The chamber is in theory. What is so true? We will not tell big lies, you know. It's translated as. And what was the third vowel? So not to have any relations, you know, with women was there in both Getsu and Gelong vows. Okay. And so I understand the first vow, the hair cutting vow. You were a little boy. Uh, how old do you have to be to make the getsu vow? Any getsu tamba leya la lo kazu si yungo reke. Da da je tamba je sa de ne ya to lo son son si yo kore da lo changa chudu changa chudu wo chi de ke ma je lo chugu ma je lo getsu tamba de dukur lo de shi ya de re ge hong tamba de ba. So. Um, if you had taken the initiation of uh, hair cutting vows, then uh, when you were like 15, 16, but you had to be below 19 in order to take the uh, Getsu vows. Mm. Mm. Then when, that is when you were able to think for yourself. Right. So between 15 and 16 to take the Getsu vows. Uh, but below 19, because at 20 you have to take the Gelong vows. Ah. And what are the Gelong vows? And the Gelong is done by Nala Kari Kari again. Gelong is done by Nala Gelong Padela. Done by Sumuja the Nijang Mujur. Nijang Mujur is done by Nijang Mujur. Oh, Sumuja, Sumuja is mature. Sumuja is done. Kari Kari. Pomba is done by Nala. Pomba is done by Nala. Hama Chusun is done by Nala. Oh, itu kan kan? Tapi, pemba ini saya tu, mesti cuci rumah ni. Mesti lah mesti duit dia cuci rumah ni. Duit yang penting dia cuci rumah ni. Mesti lah mesti duit sertai lah. Ini, kau mahu cuci rumah ni? Jebe ke, duit jebe yang apa? Jebe ke tin le caya ke? Oh, itu kau mahu yang apa? Tin tu aje. Oh, itu cuci rumah ni. Kerja tu, tak semua dia tu. Jadi jadi semua cewa. Orang ni cewa macam ni dia cewa cewa macam ni. Orang ni macam cewa cewa macam ni. Macam apa cewa cewa macam ni? Orang ni tak tahu aje ni. Dia macam macam cewa. Dia tangi gecil macam. Oh gecil tu kunci mana? Gecil tu pang dia saja. Nampak tu orang cewa. Dia hok dia nampak cewa pang besar. Tak paham baris, tapi ni betul apa mai kita ni, tak? Tiap hari sana, ngaji dengan satu hari sana, tiap hari sana, dia dah bersih dia rumah pilih ni. Tiap hari hari sana, lezat tak apa mama hari hari sana, ini kau tiap no, tiap hari no pilih lagi ni. Mungkin tiap hari kau mama ni, sah je sih je sama sah. Paham baris, paham sah, tapi kalau dia mau ke tambah lagi, kau paham sah baris. Paham dua hari sah, kau ini tak tiap hari lagi baris, kau mau pilih baris. 
So the uh, Gelong vows are more in detail, you know, and uh, they contained about 253 uh, vows that you mm -hmm. had to take. And if uh, you, you know, broke any of these uh, uh, mm -hmm. vows, then you would be expelled from the uh, monastery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, given the fact that um, mm -hmm. there were so many uh, uh, enjoyment with children growing up in your family, you had brothers and sisters, and that children are such a good part of Tibetan life, what was it like for a, a, a man to consider never having a family? never having a wife. Was, was that a difficult decision for some uh, young men to make? Larry. <laughs> Uh so uh, as a monk, you know, you had students uh, to whom you taught the uh, teachings and when you grow old, uh, these students, they would have to take care of you during your old age as well as in sickness. Mm. So in some ways, the students were like your children. Yes, that's it. You know, when the student is young, you teach him, and then when you grow old, he takes care of you. So if he is from an economically weak family, then the teacher helps him too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that addresses the need to, to parent and to nurture. But what about you know, the need to have affection and romantic love in your life? What happens with that need? Um, there were no such feelings. Mm -hmm. And uh, in case uh, a monk did not have a, a monk student, mm -hmm. and if he grew old, the community looked after him. <laughs> and um, why did you... mm -hmm. and in, in case the old monk passed away and the community you know, uh, took away whatever his things are mm -hmm. left behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it was um, more important for a Tibetan mother to let her son go to the monastery than to have him as her son who marries and has a family and gives her grandchildren. Mm. 
one thing is the mother does not want her child to you know work too hard and also because buddha dharma is about the next life so if you practice religion then you will have a better life in your mm. uh, uh, next life mm. and mm. also because you know uh, as a monk uh, you do not face too many difficulties in your life mm-hmm. <laughs> So the mother is considered the present and the uh, next life, mm-hmm. and that that is why they want their sons mm-hmm. to become monks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is there any benefit that goes to the mothers who give a son to the monastery? Any that ama chige susu po thava sewa yena roa ama dilat chige ta gawa kari yungu yorwes ama dilat yungu roa ta kono pogo thava se ta kono zoke kono ba. Okay. <laughs> Yes, the mother will also earn merit because she showed her son and guided him to uh, guided him towards a way that gave him a better life mm-hmm. in this as well as the next life. Mm-hmm. 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 So, uh, so, uh, Gela, where do we? We we have you. You had the first vows. When did you take the second set of vows? The uh, getsu. Kela kono dui kamla ta japu chero wala. Lare. Ne kono katsu le dui kane getsu damba shure. Na bje getsu damba shure dui. Lo chiu chiu je yin ba yo. Ta sa li sen yin getsu damba shure yin. Oh, gaden lo. I think I was about 18 years when I took my Gesu vows. Uh, I took it after I had uh, um, come joined the Garden Monastery. Mm-hmm. I was seven when I joined the local monastery in my village. I see. And so. Uh, <coughs> You joined the local monastery at seven, and then so you could you could go back home and help with the farm, and then at at eighteen, uh, did you go to Gandhian or had you already been there? Ani kaya la kung lucho kaya ledi yung kaney Gandhian la si ne pere dinye ne Gandhian la pere sare. Gandhian na lucho dun yung Gandhian siya, Gandhian lucho dun lucho dun yung pahin yung Gandhian hoy. At 16, I left my village to go to garden. Ah. Uh, tell us about the journey, Gela. Uh, who did you go with, and what was it like to leave your village? Any um, Gela, when you go to the area, that's just a transit. Ne ya ah, that Gandhi area, Peggy or what? Lari. The Lam area, Gela, Gandhi that was transit. Langala. Langala, today I'm so. When you go, modern Langala, that today I'm going to be going to Mazur. I'm going to. Today I'm going to. Uh, in those days, uh, there were no roads for vehicles. So, uh, from my village to garden, it took me two months and 14 days. Uh, I carried my food on my back. Mm. And 
Uh, can you tell us about some of your experiences on that journey? Like, were you alone? Were there any dangers? Was it exciting? What was it like? And again, when I was in the house, I was in the house. Roba Mambuyore. Oh, Roba Mambuyore. Nagger, Narogan, Narog, Oh, There were 13 people who left the village together and I was with my older brother and we were in a group of five and we used to cook together and then there were the others were in other groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And did anything um, uh, scary happen in this trip or uh, worrisome? Any langa la nyenga chimbo dogo dinde kari chumusuwe. Langa la nyenga chimbo se nata Chu During the journey of two months and 14 days, there were many rivers we had to cross, and since it was summertime, we had uh, you know, great difficulties crossing these rivers. Mm. How did you get across the rivers? And it chukandes Mm -hmm. So uh, we had horses and donkeys to transport our things. So uh, we also held on to the uh, tails of the animals to cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Gela, this is the first time away from your village and you're traveling two months. Uh, across Tibet to go to God in, in Lhasa. Uh, what was it like? Can you give us a picture with your eye, with your in your memory? What did you see with your eyes as you went on this long journey? so on the journey, you know, I could see mountains and then I could see uh, uh, ga gazelles and deers mm. in the wild. Mm -hmm. Any? <laughs> did you did you run into any um, <laughs> robbers or <laughs> any uh, troublesome people? Langala, kuma chapa dende tu yo na. Kuma chapa tu su, tu su da ngando me mo me zela kundo che tu tu che tu maso. Yes, we we did meet robbers, but since we were a large group, they were not able to rob us. Mm -hmm. And what about, was there any Chinese in the land? Were there any Chinese? <laughs> Before we left our village, the Chinese had already crossed the uh, Diju River and uh, went onwards to Lhasa. In 1940, uh, uh, no, you, you came to the monastery in 1952. That was 1952. Oh, in 1952, right. 
because you became a monk in 1945. Mm -hmm. But in 1952, you came to Godin. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, but bef so before you left home uh, for Godin, and you were still living at home before 1952, were there any Chinese in your area? Mm-hmm. <laughs> When I left my village, there were no Chinese in my village, uh, but the Tibetan government army was stationed there. Uh, then, uh, uh, in those days, you know, uh, the Dichu River passed through uh, my region of Ba, and one side, uh, and, and you know, the Regions nearer, closer to both the sides, used to be known as Ba. Mm -hmm. But then, after the Chinese came, they separated the regions and said the region on one side was Ba and the other side was Markham. Mm -hmm. And I think I think it was in 1949 that the Chinese had crossed the uh, Yangtze River mm -hmm. into the Tibetan side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if we move forward again and go to the monastery um, uh, was there ever was there ever a time when the Tibetan army and the Chinese soldiers uh, clashed mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the Tibetan uh, government soldiers and the Chinese troops clashed across the Yangtze River. Ah, I see. And let's see, uh, that was 1948. Uh, where were you at that time? <laughs> He <laughs> Gubig, It was uh, in 1947 that the Chinese soldiers arrived in Ba, and they remained there throughout 1947, 8, and 9, making preparations to cross the Yangtze River and come into the Tibetan side, and uh, they made boats. And uh, I think it was uh, in the ninth lunar month, because at that time we had just harv harvested our fields, that the Chinese came into my region. Did you see any with your own eyes? Yes, 
Yes, I, I saw them because after they crossed the Dichu River and they came into my region. Right. And you're, so you're not just your big region, but right where you lived. And <laughs> Uh, yes, they camped in my village and they had a translator with them and they asked the villagers to bring them hot water and they made tea and then uh, drank and then left uh, from my village. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they uh, went down into the forest. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, what were they wearing, this group of soldiers? Uh, the Chinese were uh, dressed in light khaki clothes and over their necks they had strung cookies which they would eat as they went and they are at the back and they had uh, grenades armed with grenades. Yeah. What did the people, uh, how did the people react when they saw them? So the people thought that, uh, you know, we are being again invaded by the Chinese. Uh, earlier, uh, the nationalist Chinese had uh, come to our region and they had been expelled uh, to the other side of uh, Yangtze River. Mm. Okay. So we were talking about your experience uh, when the uh, when the Chinese came. You were 11 years old. If you were born in 1936, 
and uh, the Chinese soldiers came in 1947, you were 11. So uh, after age 11, did you have any more experience with the Chinese or did you just do your farming and then go on to the monastery at age 18? 16. At 16. So from 11 to 16, did you, you know, just do farming and live at the local monastery when there were celebrations? Any, um ชิดชิดเนี่ยเนาะละแกไม่ได้ทําบ่บาละเลยตัวอ่ะเออที่ดิกันเนี่ยอันนี้แกละลูกจุกจี้เลยใช่ของลูกจุกจี้ส่งก
So once I uh, joined Garden Monastery, there was no more field works to do. Uh -huh. So I spent my time studying and it was just like attending a school. Oh, and did you, uh, what was your teacher like, uh, Gela? Gela, Gigi, can this year, it's going to be now, yeah. Gigi, but you take your mom, yeah. But you take your concern on lawyer, she lawyer. So um, there were several teachers and uh, just like the school grades, you know, we had to attend the classes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And are there any memories about your days in the monastery that you cherish or think back on very happily? ดูมาทุกอันนะเบ้มีสิรัวนิมาคาชิเปกิวเจมาตุยะตินเดกิวจุงโยตินเดยเวลกุมบะนาลาชุเบกับละนะสิบุยอะไรตะกุมบะนา
Consonant, a Tabama In practice, you know, you have to take permission from the monastery that you are going to leave the monastery. But then there are some who live on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you know, if one, one, one wants to leave the monastery, he has to make a tea offering mm -hmm. and then he can leave. Mm -hmm. and to whom does he make the tea offering? So he had to make the tea offering to uh, the house that he belonged to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the house, the house was the area from which monks from his area came, and they stayed in that house. Mm -hmm. That's right. Is that right? Okay. And um, just in general, was there any? Mm, attitude toward monks who have left, or was there an acceptance of that choice? No, there was no feeling of uh, animosity towards the monk who has left the monastery. But the lay people did not consider him good because he could not remain a monk. Would, would a girl uh, be willing to marry a, a former monk? <laughs> Yes, there are girls who take him as their husband. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so, um, Gala, when does your peaceful life in garden begin to change? That life changed when uh, the Chinese attacked Pasa. Ah. I see. Um, before we get into that, I wanted to ask you, when you first saw a garden, how, how did it look to you? Could you describe it? Because I, I understand it's a very large monastery. When I saw Gandhi, I saw it as a very happy place. Mm -hmm. but, but what was the physical appearance like? Can you describe what you saw when you looked at Gandhi? And Gela Gandhi Gita, Chilo Gita, uh, I saw a garden as a colorful, very beautiful, almost like a tanka hung on a mountain. Mm. Gayla, could you please tell us then, uh, when does life, uh, you said it began to change in uh, 1959, when Lhasa fell? 
Can you tell us what, what was happening to you in Gandhian Monastery? Hasaniya <laughs> So after Lhasa was attacked, uh, two of Tibetan government officials came and they told us that uh, uh, we should no longer remain back. And then I think it was the night of the 14th of the second lunar month that we fled. Mm. And um, Gandhin is outside of Lhasa. How far away by on foot is Lhasa from Gandhin and by car? So in the early days when we went to Lhasa, we would first go up to Dechen, spend the night there, and then the following morning we would go to Lhasa. So it would take about a day? If you are from, from the Garden Ankhuri Hill, if you looked down on Lhasa, you, you could see the Potala Palace. Ah, from the top mm -hmm. of Garden, mm -hmm. you, you could see the palace, I see. So what was that place that you would stop for the night? Dechen. Dechen. Uh -huh. And um, if, if Lhasa fell, could you see uh, any smoke, fire? <laughs> So I'm talking about uh, you know staying at Dechen when people had a, a load to carry on their back. Oh. But if you didn't have anything to carry, you know, if you were you know, if you were to walk from Garden to Lhasa, you reach it in the evening. Mm, from one day. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And when you were uh, in the top of Garden, how far could you see? Being bombed. I'm sorry. ね、たびかれやあ、たされやまぎゃろわら。ね、なんかそう感電気理科ね、待ってわら。ね、カレカレ飛んぐでわら。はさろ、でもまあ、でもこのはさるまたじろ、ジャミギメジョジョね、
Marthu Marthu Karja Gena, Tachu Gurupa, Tokol Pandu, Tosho Pa, Jagashur Su Yerba, Chugo de Chacha, Tena Pandu, and you. I knew we could not win the war because the Chinese had uh, sophisticated weapons, so I thought I would you know, go towards Thoka and then to uh, India. Mm. When uh, the, uh, the Patala Palace was being shelled. Did the did the monks in the monastery run to the top to see that happening? Were they were they looking or were they starting to leave? Any ta potala la ya bom yaro la ya mige. Bom san me jo jo. Ah me jo yaro wa. And di ka la ya ani kande gi chaba chama ya ri ga tho ga la ya do ni ma ta ga phe re la. Ga ye ta yo re ga ye do ga ga do cho man ba. Uh, all of the monks were not up or, uh, on top to watch, but there were some monks who were keeping watch, mm -hmm. and they, they had seen it. Okay. Uh, and so uh, you decided uh, what Lhasa is being attacked. Uh, is that the very day that you decide to leave? ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
Oh, you'd heard that monks had been captured? Lhasa was captured. Oh, you heard that Lhasa was captured and couldn't do the fire burning ceremony. What is the fire burning ceremony? And the Jinsei Daya de Karere, Yala. Zusetal Many different types of fire offerings. Oh, I see. Okay. So, um, Gayla, how many people, how, how many monks like were living in the monastery at that time? I, I don't believe I asked you that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, mm -hmm. I think about 2,000 The actual figure was 3,300, but at that time, about 2,000 might be in the monastery. Got it. Uh-huh. And, uh, okay. And where did, uh, did you leave with your group, or with whom did you leave the monastery? Nanzo <laughs> Um, so uh, we were about 70 to 80 monks from my house, the council where I belong to, you know. Just after uh, uh, dark, we held a prayer gathering and then we left our cup and the outer robe that the monks wear. Mm. We left it there in the prayer hall and then we set off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we filled the cup with tea and left it standing there. Mm, what was the significance of that? So that was uh, a sort of, uh, you know, good luck for our return, mm -hmm. so that we could return. Oh. <laughs> 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 what were you feeling when you left that day? That <laughs> I was young at that time and I was not particularly uh, you know very sad. Mm -hmm. Did did Agela did you think that you would return to Gandan someday? And did Agela ge sembe na ta ngansu nyema chikta pha Gandan la lo gre da gong yu gi ro la. Ta tin de de ta tin de de lo age sound na yo de ro. Yes, I hope to, oh, you know, one day return. So only Yamal my lawyer did you under one? Yamal, cut you the men I am. So, though not immediately, but I thought I would be back. You thought you would. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Gandhi, uh, Abingela does. Um, what do you miss about Gandhi Monastery? Yeah, I remember the hill and where I lived, 
and got it. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, hmm. Do we we have a picture of God in here? Uh, and uh, maybe we could uh, you could see it. Uh, it's an old picture we just found. Let's see. I want you to tell me. Maybe you could turn it around, Gandhi. Let's see. Oh. Um, that is where uh, the remains of Jay Rinpoche is entombed. Uh -huh. Who is Jay Rinpoche? Founder of Founder of Garden. Can you point to it again? Yeah, Jay Oh, and then Oh, Can you point to what what part of Gandhian you lived in? That is the prayer hall of Gardin. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that where is it? Point it to it again, so I'm sorry. That is it, And what else can you point out? Show us what else. That is the Changzi Monastery of Garden. Ah. Uh, the lower one is Shazi Tazang. Show me again. Uh, Shanti on top and Shanti below. Shanti below. One more time, Shanti. Yeah, like Shanti Kadire. Shanti did it. Ah, okay. Which one did you live in? I'm sorry. Yeah, like Kabare Shanti did Changzi did. Yeah, Shanti did. Yeah, like Changzi. Yeah, the Shanti did the para concert. The Shanti group party. The Kang Tongru Kompati Do. What did it? I belong to the para concert of Changzi Tazang, so that is where I used to live. And that's the one you just pointed to? Uh, that is the one you just pointed to? Oh, okay. And can you tell us what some of the other buildings are? Because the Kongba Shemba is in the Kongba Shemba. Yes, that's the assembly hall of the Changzi Tazang. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, two concerts there. Concerts there. Uh, that is one of the concerts called Tiu Kangsen. Then did you show us the other one? The Nara concerts there. That is Nara Kangsen right mm. below. Okay. Then did you concert you go Zasong there? You should Zasong there. Oh, concert you go Zasong there. In total, there were twenty-three concerts in Garden. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very true, very good. Very helpful. Hello. Have you seen pictures of Ganden since it was destroyed? Ganden, Jela Ganden, Jigi Ganden, Gi Kubar, the Nigala Seas, West, Jela Gemi, Tor Tabi Jela. Oh, Tor Tabi Jela, not in Jesu. Ganden Jesu. I have been to Ganden again. Ah. Oh, what year did you go? Uh, in 1986. What was your reaction when you saw it? Gandhian was almost fully destroyed. Uh, when I went back, I saw only a few houses standing. Uh, those where the two uh, parts, parts of Tiu Kansen and Yari Kansen were standing. Mm. 
Um, and what was your reaction when you saw so much destruction of your beloved monastery? And so you get a gomba in this, it's a you gonna get a gay sembe now talk, hurry to us. That be a bell of homage of you do. Major hold, major hold. I felt very sad on seeing it, yeah. and then uh, mm -hmm. I shed tears. Yes. Could you could you stay at Gandhin now? Could he? Would it be possible for you to have stayed at Gandhin when he when you went, Gela? Gela yangu ah, kasa pele pele wala. Lade. Ni kavle Gela Gandhin la shu yana shu chogi orve. Shu chogu mana. Shu shu mata Gandhin lo ni magira ma shu chogu mana. Gandhin lo shu ke de de yangu ke tasu zun se ida bato. No, I could not because uh, the old monks are not allowed to stay, and moreover, uh, only monks from uh, nearer villages are allowed uh, given permission to enter mm. garden, uh -huh. live in garden. Uh -huh. I miss that about the only the er, older monks. No, the older monks are not allowed to oh, stay there. Okay. Only monks who are from the villages close by to garden are allowed to join the monastery. And why is that? And the Karishan Kunzugi Tarin Bune Tabatzuju Mena. Oh, that they consult Molojobs on Yorwa. Sure, Takanga Zalkan consult Molojobs on Yorwa. Tabasu Chamachapa and Molojobs on Yorwa. If there, if there was a huge monk population, the Chinese uh, uh, thought that you know, we would uh, rebel against them. Uh, you mean if, if it started again, if yes. the monks, if there was a new uh, uh, a large, monk, large yeah. monk population, okay. Um, uh, Gela, we left you leaving the monastery and leaving tea behind. So uh, with the hope of returning, and you did return, but it was sad. Um, That's right. And um, so, but to go back to the story, what do you do when you leave a garden with your with your group of people? Where do you go? Uh, then we went, uh, traveled towards Lamo and from there onwards to Loka. Mm. And did you, did you run into any difficulty? Sama <laughs> Yoga. <laughs> 
Mas o meu tio disse, não, 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 Uh, from Lamo, you know, we went different ways. Mm -hmm. Most of Kansen monks, they went uh, towards the nomadic region, while we went uh, uh, took another way, and then onwards to Loka. Mm -hmm. And and what happens when you get to Loka? And then how are you doing? Any culture? 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 Ini pada dia lepas orang kamu saya sedia cukup untuk macam itu lah, macam itu, macam itu, macam mana pada garu itu, macam 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 itu, macam itu dia lalu tu, tak cerita tu dapat kan dosa, ini macam tu dapat dia ni pada yoga pun dosa macam ni, ini ko tak cerita tu dia macam yoga macam tu, dapat tu susu susu pasi jeshos, yoga pada ya nak jamik katuh macam macam tu, jual yoga jual ya. Jadi motor langgar yores, jadi tu tanya beres. Tapi ada ini pas tuan si pas tuan si sana, cuma sekian tuan si sana. Nanti ini soru kamu jadi cukup pas, fakar pas tuan si pas jero jadi lor, jadi cukup macam jadi, betul kan? Ini nak kian tuan si sana, kau tu, yoga pas, yang di mana jisun jadi pas, pas kian. Cukup ni. Eh, ni 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 kan, cukup ni. And Chushi Gandhu, sir? Yes, Chushi Gandhu, sir. Yes, Chushi Gandhu, sir. So when you reached Loka, you know, to get to where the Chushi Gandhus had camped, you had to cross the river in a boat. And then uh, I met a, a, you know, a general of the Chushi Gandhu. The founder? Or just the founder, a general. Uh, was the intention, were the monks intending to go Join the Chushi Gandhu or just passing through? And then, Gala number two, Chushi Gandhu, the Zun, and my Gala Sangi, or the last in about trip head to your head. That Kahi, not so yard. Kahi, my dear mamma, do girls on the yard. Kahi, the part turned girls on Kayard. What did it? There were many uh, opinions among the monks. Some wanted to join and fight, while the others just wanted to flee. Mm -hmm. And what was your opinion? ก็ล่ะขนาดนั้นก็สมเสียงงั้นตัวงั้นตอนบ่เจอหนึ่งเกี่ยวสองเกี่ยวพาร์ทเจอหนึ่งเกี่ยวสองเกี่ยวเจอ
So while uh, the leaders uh, had held meetings, they sent uh, us uh, on the hilltops to look out for Chinese. ทางดูเป็นในนั้นอยู่นะโอ้พอเกตุบันนะพอเกบบันนะจะงั้นจะเป็นเกตุบันนะจะเสียสุดเนี่ยปัจจัยนี้ก็มีเรื่องเรื่
Kumbaya so, um, if we return to a Yerlung Poda where the Chushikandu base was, and uh, most of the people had fled, but then after some time we were able to meet uh, Amdu Jimba uh, with 20 men. And uh, <clears throat> we all waited there, you know, hoping the others who had fled would return, but uh, during the night they did not. And so in the morning, you know, some of us. Uh, wanted to stay back while some said it's better to uh, mm -hmm. go away but uh, we stayed back and then after some time you know, the Chushi, some of the Chushigandu men returned and then um, we had an encounter with the Chinese at the Yerlung Podang and then after that you know we uh, had to flee towards Nye and then to Tsuna and uh, when we re when we reached Tsuna the Chinese had already reached there because they were planning you know to uh, surround uh, surround the place that the Chushigandu was fighting. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then from uh, uh, Tsuna we went onwards to Kata and then to the Mangola Pass. Mm. Mm -hmm. So their plan to surround the Chushigandu failed because they were not because the Chinese, you know, who were to surround us from Kompo could not do so due to bad road. Mm -hmm. So that's how we were able to escape. Oh. Mm -hmm. And when you reach the Mangola, Mangola Pass, did, 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 what happened then? Any uh, Mangola Lelewa, oh. Mangola. Oh, Mangola. Any Kachisa. Mangola so uh, at the Mangola, uh, over the Mangola Pass, there were Chinese uh, Tibet, uh, Indian uh, border security guards and they stopped us for two days and then uh, later we reached Mern, Mentawa. <coughs> Please have some more. How long would you say you were with the fighting forces from the time you left the monastery? Was that a matter of days or weeks or months. And <laughs> Mother 
I would say less than two months because I left uh, uh, my monastery on the 14th day of the second month and when I reached Misamari, it was the 15th day of the fourth month. So, and then we had surrendered our guns at uh, uh, Mentawa. That uh, was a very exciting adventure, and um, and and I. It sounds like you and your group survived, Gela. Did most people survive? Any Gela, you know, the pay young man, she had a tarwa. Yeah, tarwa, tarwa. Yeah, tarwa. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they did. Um, um, because we only have ten minutes, left, we're going to um, uh, Gela. This is an important part of Tibet's history, what you just told us. So one of my questions is, why do you think it's important to record the history of Tibet through the eyes of the people who lived through it? Why, why do you think it's important? Yeah. Then um, if truth can prevail in this world, and if the UNO is fair, then my, our, our history shows that Tibet was an independent nation. Mm -hmm. The UN, the United Nations Association, United mm -hmm. Nations Organization. Organization. Okay, is fair then. Uh, the story shows that Tibet was a free country. Mm. Mm. The world, world would know that uh, <coughs> Tibet had its own currency, its own army, it, it, you know, it had its border. And it was an independent country. Mm. Its own <coughs> currency, its own army, border, border. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If uh, because we've covered so much, I want to go back to the question and say, if this interview was shown in Tibet or China, would this be a problem for you? Uh, Tarin tiwati le nangyojiora. Lari. Andi peta kiana tempe ina keje nangyoti giota. Gela, thank you for sharing your story with us. Um, Gala, uh, I, what, what do you hope will be preserved for the children of Tibet? What do you hope will be saved about the country of Tibet? Mother <laughs> So, um, 
people in Tibet do not enjoy human rights, so they should have support so that human rights can be implemented in our country. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, thank you, Gala. Thank you, Gala. It was a very, very, very beautiful story. Very, very exciting and dangerous and fulfilling story. Thank you. Gala, look you so much. Thank you, Chess. Thank you, Bea. We do last. Very, very much. Can we take a picture here because the glare on on.